Hi, my name is Bob Holmes, uh, Vice President of Portfolio Management for Digital Realty. We are a publicly traded REIT in over 31 markets with over 100 data centers representing over 18 million square feet. We're here today to discuss 365 Randolphville Road, a uh, property that was purchased by Digital Realty in 2008 and immediately started its transformation from a warehouse that was built in 1974 into the state-of-the-art data center it is today. What makes the data center environment so unique is the need for uninterrupted power and very reliable multiple sources of fiber. Today we're going to walk through the different iterations of this power starting from the 26 kV dual fed substations into the building, transformer down into 480 volts, then conditioned through uh, uninterruptible power sources, and then distributed through power distribution units in the customer environment. The transformation from a warehouse asset class into a data center asset class starts here outside. Where I am now is in front of switchgear that receives power from two separate substations. From here, it will go into the data center facility and be used by our customers. Behind me are the chilled water units that send chilled water to the air handlers that reject the heat out of the data centers to keep them cool. It's extremely important that the power to these data centers never go down. Behind me are the main and redundant generators necessary for each pod to ensure that not only does the power never go down, but there's always an additional source of power during maintenance. We're now in the transformer room, which transforms the 26 kV medium voltage power down to 480 volts. At this point, the load is segregated into two panels, an A and a B side, that are redundant to each other and provide backup to each other. Along with that in this board is a generator switch gear that allows for backup in case the utility feed has been disrupted. Behind me are the uninterruptible power sources used to condition and supply power to the customer environment. Next to me is the power distribution panel used to segment the power into individual power distribution units. We're now in the battery rooms representative of both the A and B side where if there is an interruption in utility power, the batteries through an inverter supply power while the generators start, come up to speed, and transfer over. This maintains the uninterrupted power source. We're now in the chilled water pump room that supplies chilled water to the customer air handlers that cool the customer environment. There's both a primary and secondary pump with redundant backup so there is never a disruption in cooling water. We're now in front of the power distribution units which take power from the UPSs and distribute it throughout the customer environment. Well, all the previous infrastructure was used so we could get to this point, which is now the customer environment. Here we have the air handler that was associated with taking chilled water through its coils, pushing air out, up the perforated tiles, to the top of the ceiling, and back into the return of the unit. This would be filled with rows and rows of servers. 